Hello, everyone. This is Nathan and Jared. This is our data science final project. Our project focused on designing and implementing a data pipeline to process genomic sequencing data stored in FASTQ files. These files are widely used in bioinformatics and contain biological sequence data, a lot of corresponding quality scores, making them essential for next generation sequencing or NGS workflows. A FASTQ file is a text-based file format that stores biological sequence data like such as DNA or RNA, alongside quality scores for each base in the sequence. And usually consisting of four lines with a line one of a sequence identifier, a nucleotide sequence, a separator, and then quality scores. We also calculate the FRED score, which is used to indicate the measure of base quality in DNA sequencing, which you'll see later in the demo, which is around 38 of really good quality. Here's our routing map for a step-by-step -step flow of our pipeline. We first start off with the user interaction via a web app using Streamlit, which is hosted on an EC2 instance, instance, which serves as our entry point. The user can upload their FASTQ files directly through the app and input whatever relevant metadata, such as sample ID and processing date. Next, we also have our file storage in S3 buckets, where we can also upload FASTQ files for processing. The metadata entered via this web app is simultaneously written into an Amazon RDS Postgres database. Furthermore, we have an AWS Lambda triggering for processing. So whenever a new file is added to this S3 input bucket, this function is triggered and executes a Python script to perform basic quality control and QC on the file. Finally, we have the output to the S3 bucket where the QC report is generated and stored in this output bucket. And we also accounted for the pipeline to include additional steps such as alignment to a reference genome, producing BAM files for further analysis. And the user would obviously be able to receive this report when it concludes. All right, now let's get back into the demo. Um... So if we go all the way over here, this is the example FASTQ file we're using right here. So this is this dot line right here corresponds to the quality score of each sequencing read. Um, and then this is the actual bases that were read. Um, so we're counting the number of lines in the file, and then we're giving you the average quality score off of the all the reads that were in the file. Um, so if we start over here, um, we're actually going to start our app real quick. And there we go. Our app is started. And then we can go over here and you see our EC2 instance, which is running. This is where the Streamlit app is running. And then our RDS instance, which is active right here. This is a Postgres implementation that'll hold our metadata. And then here's our first bucket. As you can see, there's nothing in it right now. Um, this is the FastQ uploads bucket where everything gets put in. And then we have our Lambda function, which is triggered by any new object created in that bucket that you just saw with our code implementation for quality score and line counting right down there. Um, and then this is the output bucket, FASTQ QC results, as you can see, there's also nothing in here. Um, and then our RDS right here, we're actually going to go uh, delete from samples. Um, so there's nothing in this bucket right now. Um, and then we can go select star from samples. As you can see, the RDS instance is empty right now. Um, so now we go over to our Streamlit app, and now that it's running, we should be able to connect. Uh, yep, we select our FASTQ file, and then wait for that to upload. In the meantime, we can call the sample ID one because this is our first upload. Uh, this experiment date is today. Um, and then our description will be Illumina sequencing reads from mouse experiments. And then we go ahead and click upload. And then we get our confirmation messages right down there. Um, back to the RDS, we can go select star from samples. And as you can see, we have our result from that. Um, it's going to be sample ID one, today's date, our little description, and then the file name that we uploaded. Um, we can go to our bucket right here and refresh the page. And then as you can see, our FASTQ file did get uploaded. And then hopefully when I refresh this, the QC processor will be done. And it is. We go to this, we can go ahead and download the file. And then we will open that up, see what we got. And we got a quality score of 42, which means very high quality. Um, I believe that is 0.001% um, um, error rate in the quality. Um, and then we have a total read of 139,668 reads in the file. So yeah, that's our demo. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed.